Hello and welcome to Gag of the Millennial. A show where we talk about pop culture, current events. And spill the hot Darjeeling right into your lap. Ooh, scaldy moldy. Oh, 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 it feels funny. Oh, oh. Hello. We've teleported into a new spot, yes. girls. The hottest spot in town. Yes, my... <laughs> I was going to say my <laughs> anal cavity. Oh, I can't say cavity. A gaping no, office. the dentist will be happy. No, <laughs> that's a good bit of filling. So guys, hello. Welcome back to a brand new episode of our podcast, Gag of the Millennial. Hello it has been a little while. It has. Um, just because mainly because I moved house and it was kind of difficult to get together to be able to film properly in our new little setup. This is a working progress. I know if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see if you're just listening to the audio, we have a new, uh, a new green screen. We have a new <laughs> green screen that we live in. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> we have a, I have a new apartment, so the, the, it looks a little bit different if you're confused what we're going on about. But, yes. so, because this is like the start of like our new, you know, our new area, we thought it would be fun to kind of revisit an old topic we did two years ago when we God. first started doing these Gag at the Millennials, where we talked about YouTube drama, some of the dramas that were going on with James Charles and Jeffree Star, all that stuff. Um, I and feel of course, weird saying their names. I'm a bit like, oh, no say. No say. So we want to do an entire video uh, about sort of the toxic world of YouTube friendships. We have, of oh, course, God, both yeah. been on YouTube now for over 10 years. And so this year will be my 12th year on on social media. I think I'm on 14. 14. This year is 14. So we have been around, girls. So we're going to interject. Around the block. We're, yeah, we're on the game. On um, the game. So we're going to interject some of our own stories that have yes. happened to us throughout yes, the years. Yes, yes, yes. Um, however... Where do we start? Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. So first up, we want to start this conversation talking about Trisha Paytas. So of course, Queen Trisha, of Tri yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Trisha, the, the, what's very funny about having uh, people like Jeffree Star um, and Tati Westbrook and Shane Dawson kind of coming back and trying to redeem themselves again is the fact that Ooh. it's now gone full circle. Yes. So now Trisha Paytas has managed to almost redeemed themselves being on the podcast Frenemies with H3H3 Productions. So, Which was like a fully gag thing that none of us really realized was going yeah, to happen. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely incredible business move for both of them. It to was, be like, it really was. To we make... hate each other, we hate each other. Let's form a union. Yeah, so I don't want to go too much into the backstory because I'm. Mean, yeah. if you kind of watch your drivers, you may have known this stuff already, but Ethan and Trisha had a history of really disliking each other, doing videos on each other, slagging each other off. Ethan was kind of body shaming Trisha, which was awful doing the Instagram versus reality thing which uh -huh. i understand doing the instagram versus reality thing but the way that he was doing it was kind of like he was very yeah, yeah there are ways of doing it like with what like our content kind of touches on like this is what it should look like not yeah what it kind of does if that yeah. makes sense so but i understand i do feel like this, he like made fat jokes about them and stuff and i just i took like that's not great and then trish was like uh retaliating yeah. but then they made the frenemies podcast and every now and then they would fight and there'd be like this big explosion and trish would have one of their meltdowns yeah um but Ethan would then try to calm them and it would it would just kind of escalate all the time and then Trisha would be like, right, I'm off. We're I'm not off. Doing I've had We're not yeah. doing it anymore. And then like a couple of weeks later, they are like, back together. They'd be like, hello. Yeah, exactly. Now. Like back together. So they have now had a big blow up. Uh, and yeah, I actually don't know what this It was about. really awful. So it was really awkward. I'm actually quite surprised that Ethan released onto YouTube. So halfway through their re most recent podcast, okay, Trisha okay. started bringing up money and how oh. much like money they're making compared to everyone else. Yeah. And so Trisha does some stuff for the shows, but really just kind of shows up and goes like, yeah. I'm part of the Friendly Podcast. And all of Ethan's like staff and team do all the main work and we'll do the editing and do the yeah. loading, all the, all the kind of stuff. But Trisha kind of like, started talking about how the team shouldn't be making as much money as they are and how like they should be making more money I was complaining about only getting like 45% of the earnings yet was getting like loads of money from like the memberships and stuff. Trisha was making bank. Like can, yeah. we, just, can we just like make it like that Trisha was making a shit ton of money through this podcast. Yeah. And okay. all they were doing was kind of like showing up and being part of it. They were saying sometimes that they would make the costumes for Ethan and them, but like even that, I'm like, that's ugh, you're still getting like hundreds of thousands yeah, of dollars through yeah, this podcast. Yeah, yeah. And like also There are designers that don't make hundreds of thousands of dollars. Exactly. And like the, the team are only getting like five percent of the revenue. And it just it was insane. It was like rich people moaning about not making enough money. It was, it was that it yeah. was a very Tory argument yeah. <laughs> when it was happening. <laughs> no Tories here, please. And then they were having this conversation on camera in front of like the staff oh. and Ethan was still in the wrong as well. Like he should not have aired this. He should have been like, we're not discussing this. 
in front yeah, of the part team. Yeah, part of a good partnership like, is saying, actually, we need to move on from that Yeah, they should, they should have been like, the conversation somewhere absolutely else. not. Ab- this is not happening in, in this discussion. Mm-hmm. But he still released it. And I felt a bit kind of like, this is awkward. Like, so originally they released that podcast on just like the Patreon is like yeah. a members only thing. And then lots of people were saying, do not put it on YouTube. It's awkward. Yeah. It's just not okay. But Ethan still uploaded it onto YouTube. And it was like, oh, mm, it was just, a bit, <clears throat> I don't know. It was just a bit a lot. Anyway, so they had a big, they had a big fallout. Now everyone hates Trisha again. It's yeah. become like a new thing to yeah. hate Trisha again. And I find it so strange how it has now sort of become full circle. Like, because obviously Trisha Paytas. Waves. Peaks exactly. and troughs, girl. So Trisha Paytas recent, well not recent, maybe like six, five, six months ago came out saying about how they went to a holiday with Jeffree Star. I made a video about this. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. we've all been Trisha Paytas. Yep. And so Trisha, Trisha said that Jeffrey was really mean to them and calling them like fat and things and having that like lots of like fat phobic stuff. Um, and Hair by Jay, awful person. That Hair by Jay thing, when Hair by Jay did that. Like, so Hair Absolute by Jay rank. was Jeffrey Star's hairstylist, still is, I think. Um, and did oh, this- Oh yeah, no, yeah. So the drama around that is he, he wasn't. Is. And then like a couple of months later, he was like, come back and be back my girls. hairstylist. Um, I don't think he actually ever stopped. I feel like that was just- uh, I think it was probably for show. That was just it? a show thing. Because, Je- well, anyway, before we get into further, so you should understand what happened. Jeffrey's hairstylist, Hair by Jay, came out with this live stream saying all this horrific stuff about, about Trisha Paytas. Like, really, mm-hmm. really horrible. But he was also being really like violent in that thing. Yeah, he was like, like, oh, I'm going to like, attack you yeah, and I'm it gonna was just, beat you up if you I keep just, saying this stuff about us it was just like what are you doing on the yeah. internet what, why would you w- ever go live and say this but then also like people in the in the comments on the live were like why would you say that like mm-hmm. why are you doing this like if that doesn't click your brain into sanity mode yeah. for a second and go end the live I don't know what will. It like, was really saving. horrible. A professional person in a professional industry that's people facing constantly mm-hmm. talking like that about a former client is unacceptable. The amount of people that probably would have maybe worked with him who then said no after It was that. just like, like, that's actually too far. It's weird, weird kind of thing to do. Okay. But now everyone hates Trisha again. And yeah. now this is, this is the thing. So all of a sudden, Jeffree Star recently released a video. Did you watch the, his did. recent one where he was I saying did. about... I, do you know, I actually, I actually believe a lot of what he said. I do... The the, funny, it, oh. it, it, it's very difficult, isn't it? Because it is. if people, <laughs> if you don't know by now, the stuff that Jeffrey Star has recently done has been very problematic. Obviously, he had Off a race scale. He, he did lots of racism in the past, but obviously, there's been so much more newer stuff that's come out about things because the racism thing kind of got. He done apologies like this is like years ago that he did like mm. that kind of was addressed, and then recently with the whole like uh, Trisha Paytas thing when she when he was um, horrible to them calling them obviously names and apparently like slapping food out of their hands yeah. saying don't eat any more food. Can you imagine doing um, that to someone? And apparently like he had him and his team had like thrown away like an expensive bag that Trisha had and was acting like it was a load of trash and like f- was trying to force them to come out clubbing and put makeup on being like we don't want to be around you like you're not attractive like it was re- it was really awful and then so so the whole situation with Trisha and then the weird situation when it came to Dovey Vanity and Blood on the Dance Floor <sighs> and the fact that Davi had like, I don't want to get too much into it because I want to demonetize. Yeah, because he it's had, actually a really heavy yeah, series. It's not really, just drama. Yeah, not it just goes drama. a bit beyond this that. This is like cr- actual crime stuff. Yeah. Um, so David Vanity has, it's it's just basically fact at this point that he had essayed um, minors. Yeah. And using his power to get, you know, with younger people. It, her, absolutely horrific. Like, Disgusting. But it's crazy that he's like trying to make a comeback on uh, the internet. Literally, like, literally, literally. Insanity. Like the, what? When he created his Instagram page and was just like, I've got new merch out. Like I'm coming back. I'm going to start releasing music again. Everyone's like, what are you doing? Mm. Like, you but should this, have disappeared or, or and gone to prison. But the sad thing is about it is like so many people are like, yeah, like like young, young girls. Like, yeah, he's fat. Yeah, we love you. Like, it's so blind to the, the truth of what happened. The only reason I bring this up is because that's another thing that Jeffree Star was about. So Jeffree Star was on tour with him back in the day, back when like we were like teenagers. Yeah, back when, um, yeah, when, yeah, yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. So Jeffree came out saying that he had seen Davy Vanity do like illegal stuff with kids, but then weirdly carried on touring with him. And then... Then later on in yeah. interview, and then like later on in yeah. inter- like later on in interviews, he was like, "No, I didn't actually see anything. Yeah. Like that. I didn't say that. What I was meaning to say is, people were telling me that was happening. It was the whole situation was like a mess, and I don't really understand what the hell was but happening. But it's that exact scenario where Jeffrey really behaves in this way of like, "I know what's real. I know I've got yep. the truth. I've got the yep. receipts, yep. bitch." And then he like. <laughs> just goes like, actually, none of that happened. Yeah, I it don't was really no. Very strange. And I just he did... feel like this is all this way. And and he does this. So 
Jeffrey does this thing in his videos. I don't, there's something about his body language that really puts me off, like listening to a word that he says and believing that any of it is true. The weird thing about his videos is he, he does this body language thing where he says something, he looks off to the left, looks down, then looks up and then back at the camera. And then, then yeah, and he does during it all the time. this, he's, he does it like eight times and he's like, and this happened to me and that made me feel this way. And then somebody, uh, somebody else said that to me as well. But then I survived. And it's very that, it's very like, EastEnders acting 101. It is. So it I is, do yeah. get very much like, I don't trust a word that he said. In his video, in his recent one, I was like, yeah, you said some great things. I'll be wonderful if you do them for yourself. Good luck. Bye. See you later. So I do, I do believe some of it that he said, like, I do get the whole thing of um, being in that huge house on your own would be incredibly oh, yeah. lonely and like feeling a kind of, because I, I do feel like it was quite strange to, for him to admit that his ego wanted the house and not, he didn't actually really want it. Like it's. But I don't believe that. Do, I don't well, believe, you don't have I, to. Like, the, yeah, I really don't. I feel like. Your ego is a part of you. It's not like this separate thing that comes in and says, we're going to buy a house. And you're like, okay, ego, don't beat me up. We're going to buy this house. I feel like, I, I, I don't know, maybe there's something going on behind the scenes. Maybe one of his businesses isn't doing as well as he'd hoped or something like that. I don't think it's money. I think, I, think, I think he's fine for money. I think I don't think fine. he's as wealthy as we think or, or he's allowing us to believe that he is. I feel like there is a there is a factor like that happening behind the scenes. But I do agree nobody needed a house that big. Yeah, it was ludicrous. It's all for sh all for sh it was all like a facade. So it was an ugly house as well. I oh. do oh, it was awful, awful. <laughs> dark. It was just really dark. <laughs> and I wonder if now if he's going to stop doing drama stuff. Because he said in his video that he was gonna stop being dramatic and like stop. Um, well, responding I, to things and all that stuff. The thing is, but... is for Jeffree Star, a huge part of his brand is drama. Yeah. He can't really not respond to it because like those are the things that drive the clicks that then those clicks um, translate to sales from his business. Yeah. Like it's almost like an integral part of who he is to attract any attention regardless if it's negative or positive because he does always seem to come out in a positive light. Yeah. Even though it's a bit like tainted. Although one thing I will say about cancellation stuff with him is actually the most recent stuff that happened did affect him. He lost oh, over yeah. a million subscribers. Like yeah. he, it actually affected him this time. I actually and I do. Like, do you remember when I said in one of our podcasts, like the corpse that keeps on giving, can't yeah. believe one day we'll see something that will topple yeah. him. Yeah. I think it happened with the Trisha Paytas situation. Yeah, I think that was the last. I think His as well. His videos aren't getting anywhere near what no, he used to no. get. And the whole, because I think when all the stuff came back out with James Charles and James Charles did like the flip reverse card. We will talk about him in a minute, but, yes. and then all that came back and then it all kind of pushed back on Jeffrey and Shane kind of almost manipulating situations. I think that was like the start. That was like the start. Yeah. They, they needed oh, one more it's thing. It's been a proper yeah. timeline. Hasn't I feel it? like that was kind of the start. And then when the Trisha Paytas stuff came out and the Darby Valley thing happened, it just tipped Dominoes. the ice. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it was like, actually all this other stuff is, and more people were kind of seeing the toxic, toxic kind of shit that he had done. And that's when he started losing all the subscribers and followers and things. Cause he I, did lose millions he like, did. on he all did. of his platforms. I do feel like as well, a lot of the factors in with this is that when you start to be so, I guess popular is the word, or when, yeah. you're, when your stuff is viewed so many times, like remember that mini series they did of mm -hmm. like the secret world of woman on the game. Yeah. And they were getting like 20 million views per video. People are just like waiting for that moment for you to collapse. Yeah. And I feel like everything kind of, lined up in the worst possible way for him and yeah. it's all tumbled down now and it makes thing is that the thing is it makes you wonder actually because when like, everything happened with laura lee manny mua and all that stuff like a year ago and manny it, mua's thing was his social climbing yeah <laughs> <laughs> like looking at it now i'm like you're fine it's like, so crazy but it makes care. it makes me because the amount of friendships that jeffrey has gone through over the <gasps> internet oh it's scandalous it, you know and so many of us for a long time actually thought it was more the other people everyone yeah. actually everyone kind of suspected that was the truth yeah but actually now further down the line you start to think oh actually was maybe Jeffrey really difficult to be with. Yeah. And I think, to be honest, someone like him might be. I think, yeah. I think a huge part of his brand is keeping things secret yeah. and not really allowing people to know the true Jeffrey star. Because I have come across multiple people like that in my life who yeah. have who have purposefully hidden things about themselves, not to lie as such, like explicitly, but for you to get an idea of how they are that would benefit them anyway. Like it's yeah. like manipulation tactics. And I actually yeah. feel like it would be really difficult to be friends because who Jeffrey has in his life now, who like he's got that, I was gonna say boom clap. What's he called? Boon cack, boon, boon cap. It's boon cap, boon clap, boon cap. Boon clap. Boon something. Boom yeah. something, yeah. the artist. Boom like clap. Boom clap. Yeah. That's the makeup like, artist. Is that like the only person that's like 
frequently around him now. I think him and Hair by Jay are the only two that are kind of his friends, I guess. Like, he had all these original assistants. Yeah. All these, like, merch people. Okay, so this, this is the thing. So he did a video where he said that his Maddie, who used to be his <gasps> first assistant and his videographer had like moved away. Like, so the videographer got, I what his name was now, his videographer. Well, he had moved back mm. to England apparently. Mm. Um, and Maddie apparently just wanted to do something different because going, you know, living after, looking after someone's life for so long, you forget about yourself. Now I do think there's some truth in that, but I do think for, I do think for a lot of it is she probably got, well, they probably got sick of constantly being berated by the internet because oh, you're, you're working with such a problematic person. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I do feel like that's a massive point to, point to make actually, is that when you are someone like Jeffree Star, you and drama is your brand, it is going to infiltrate into your family and yeah. it is going to infiltrate into your yeah. work family and yeah. your business partners. I couldn't cope Imagine with it. Imagine no him way. trying to go to a bank and be like, I need to secure a loan for this thing. And people are like, but you might go online and tell all of us, tell, tell all the tea about the bank. Yeah. Like yeah. that's, it seems like it would be very difficult to like organize something yeah. like that. For sure. Yeah. I think it, I, 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 no doubt in my mind that Maddie and all that maybe left some of it would have been because of. I, I reckon it's one of. The, I bet you it's one of those situations in which maybe okay, maybe he's not toxic to his employees, but it is a toxic work environment. Yeah, and I reckon he's probably got quite a high turnover of people that are involved, and then only a specific type of person kind of stays with him for a long time, yeah. and then that adds to the problem because yeah. he surrounds himself by yes men who are like, yeah, that purple wig in a beehive with green stripes is great. Mm, that's the Darjeeling. <laughs> we just spilt the tea girls. Tea girls. So, yeah, I don't know what he's going to do now. Um, Move to Wyoming. Forward. Well, yeah, he's moving to Wyoming. The thing is, he's never going to use... Yeah, I don't think he will ever leave YouTube and the drama and oh, like, the makeup Oh, no, 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 no. That he was won't. one of his biggest earners in like 2000... What was it? 2009 to... 2000, 2009 2019 <laughs> to 2020 his income from youtube was something like 19.4 million yeah and it like, would have, and that he, is huge uh, yeah i don't know what he's going to do now but i do find it hopefully the thing is i don't think anyone is uh too good for any kind of like growth i do think everyone has oh, announced yeah. they can possibly so maybe in the maybe he maybe this is the last straw and he actually will start to i mean grow how the many fuck up times a bit. have we said that though I like know. this is just one white man who's give, been given this so many opportunities yeah. for growth and he still hasn't done it and he thinks growing now is selling a louis vuitton couch and moving to the countryside like yeah. that's not growth i mean it will be good for him mentally but it's also not growth he said in his video it was something like um the, the beauty community is dead and I was a bit like, no, that's not true at all. Just it's just because, because the two the... biggest players have left the business, Tati yeah. and him, yep. and James Charles, the third one. The beauty community was never about the big people at the top. It was all about these grassroots movements of just people making like wear test videos of their favorite brand that they found in their local yeah. shop. News I think the problem, a little indie brand. The problem I don't was, not think it's dead it got, at all. It got overshadowed by the drama. And yeah. then everyone thought the beauty community was just was drama. drama. There was many smaller YouTubers who were lovely people Absolutely. who weren't doing any of this shit. Who like you, for example, because at the time you were still doing beauty I content. I was still mainly. doing a lot of beauty like, content. Well, you weren't being racist <laughs> no. and ho like homophobic on the internet. And you so, imagine, like, do you know what I mean? Like, there was it, uh, this is a problem. I didn't. That statement was a bit shitty because it was like just because you and that lot of stop doesn't mean the beauty community is dead. It's just, just because you do your up. dramatic yeah. world of like crazy drama is over doesn't mean that the community is dead. That's not the community, big. No, that's not the community. You are not a community. You are either a part of it or not. You don't make a community. Yeah, you, I thought you, that was a bit on the nose. You guys to say were that. the the the. The, the toxic of it absolutely and uh, talking about the toxic of it or a uh, toxic of it all i still feel even as a beauty like a youtuber who like is interested in watching like smaller channels and bigger channels yeah i still feel a bit like somebody's tickled my goat without my permission when shane dawson tried to come in and be like i don't even wash my face here's my <laughs> multi-million collaboration about I makeup that i've been doing things do you know what i mean like i don't want to buy makeup from a man who's like I don't wash my face. It, th no, I pick me bum. Well, this I don't is, want any so of that. This is the difference, though. It wasn't makeup. No, it, it was wasn't. merch. Yeah, it was. That's, it yeah. wasn't make. It was just a collectible thing that people. Most. Of, this is the thing. Most of Jeffrey Star stuff, I will like. We've seen his lip stuff. Some of it, so some of his makeup isn't necessarily good quality. I do. I am a bit upset because his lipsticks are quite good. Yeah, I'll never buy one but, again. I won't use one, but they were good. If you see anything that he does on the internet, it's because it's the reason he does so well with this stuff is because it is considered merchandise. Yeah, that's it's, true. It's, some of his stuff is good, but like, why are people buying every single one of his mirrors? You oh, don't need so that many weird. mirrors. It's because it's merchandise from the person you you're obsessed with. It's not because you want a mirror. Like, so this whole that's thing weird. of like. This 
same thing when when, when Shay Jordan did the palette. Imagine with if L'Oreal brought out a range of mirrors and you were like, I've got every L'Oreal mirror. Exactly. Like, why so would you it do that? wasn't it wasn't for yeah. the make this the conspiracy palette thing wasn't because people wanted the makeup. They just wanted some merchandise from the people they loved. It was loved. almost like merchandise for the film that they made. Yeah, it wasn't of those two, yeah, like a band wasn't, release. It wasn't it was not to do with the makeup. And I'm sure some people probably did probably did use it, but it it, it was just merchandise, and that's the only reason why it did well. Mm, like that. So that's a really good point. But it is it is strange to think that someone whose brand was being gross made a makeup. Oh product. yeah, absolutely hideous. A, a man that never wears a different top, always yeah, in the it, same it's top. It's very strange. Awful, very very strange. Awful, awful, awful. Um. So talking about him, just mm. because we brung him into it. Yes. He released a thing on Instagram saying he's coming back soon. He's not leaving. All this stuff. You need to take your money and leave. So <sighs> Shane Dawson, we don't, we haven't really spoke about him. I don't think on my no, channel. I don't think no, we spoke no, about no. him. Obviously, all that stuff came out with him. Again, I don't want to say too much about it because no, of because well, well, we all know what it is. Yeah, yeah, all the inappropriate stuff with minors. Um, I find it. I don't. <sighs> how do we even go around talking about this in a way that's direct and yeah? I just feel like. You have been on the internet now for as long as you have. You don't need to come back. Yes, I totally agree. It's, he must have, have made his money and do, he must have his fingers in other like businesses. Yes. He must do. I do not feel like, as, as I said earlier to about Jeffree Star, I don't feel like you, like this, this doing this is a privilege. And it's yeah. a privilege that we've worked very hard to maintain. And yes. I would hate anything to come in now and be like, actually... You're a bitch. This yeah. is why. Yeah. The idea that so if that ever happened to me, I found myself in that situation after already amassing m hundreds of millions of views and yeah. making that money. Yeah. I would retire from YouTube. Yeah. I just leave yourself there and become something forgotten. A bit like what Jenna Marbles has done, but Jenna Marbles. I don't even think Jenna Marbles needed to. No, but I thought like Jenna Marbles has wanted to leave for a long time, and she yeah. used that as not an excuse, but kind of as a reason to. Yeah. Be like, she okay. was like, "That's enough for me. Yeah, I'm going to leave." Which is a great she's way like, of doing it. Like a fucking multi-millionaire she doesn't have to work for the rest of her life oh, she can just so happily well. i love i did love jenna marbles so it, when it comes to like friendships and stuff and the fact that he surrounded himself with jeffree star and all of a sudden became like i thought of being around jeffree star i may have made him a shit ton of money but it definitely was his downfall because it kind of almost you when you had you you are the people you surround yourself with you are hearing that he didn't stick by trisha after all the stuff that happened with jeffree star and trisha and kind of acted as if like i had no idea any of this happened it well, was the all screenshots came out yeah so. and it was all monetary based because he was making so much money with jeffrey that's why he picked him now i will say i don't i'm not going to take everything that trisha does say as fact anyway because trisha does like to exaggerate so maybe some of the stuff that happened with jeffrey shane and them was exaggerated a bit and maybe shane wasn't a little completely bit in the wrong for like maybe not taking trisha side because like Trisha, a lot like, of everything that you see on the internet as well, you have to take with a grain of salt. Yes. Because I don't know any of these people personally. I have only known what other people have put online about them or that they have put online about themselves. Yeah. So the situation you're kind of seeing like through tinted glasses through like a window down the end of the street and you're yeah. kind of like trying to make a make sense of what's happened. So I totally agree with that. And I, I do think feel maybe, like maybe Trisha might have like slightly exaggerated certain bits, but definitely it still screwed sounds, himself up. Yeah, it still sounds really horrible that like, he didn't stand, stand by, by his friend. Yeah, like best friend as well. Like they were supposed to be like best friends. Not like, imagine, imagine if something really shitty happened with you and I was just like, I didn't uh, know. They haven't done anything to me. No, we've actually like, got a pallet coming out. So yeah, can you just so not create all the drama? Sounds bitch. Yeah. So like that, that was really sad. And like, I just think at this point, like you've made your money, you've done your thing. I still- Also, I, you're not 15 anymore. Yeah, you like you are in your like mid thirties. Like, yeah. <laughs> like you, you I'm should surely, be well adjusted by now. If you want to do anything, just be an editor. You do like, the internet doesn't need you to be the front man of everything now. Like no. you can- you can just, if you want to do that, just if you want to just edit someone's videos or something, because you're editing Ryan's videos. He could videos. set up a little company and be like, call it something else, not really related to his name, and just be like, I do commission yes. work now. Because the, 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 the thing is with, with this if kind of stuff hard, is, for money. I don't think he should suddenly become homeless and die because I think no. like a lot of the kind of like cancer culture stuff is like you, you should immediately be deleted. You should be deleted and disappear and die. Like that's the kind of response. Obviously. He doesn't really need, I'm sure he's rich enough as it is. And he loves, to, he says that he loves creating videos. Just mm. be an editor for someone, just do something else. I just feel like you shouldn't, you have a, a manipulated and abused your power where you have it. In a, in, a, in a particularly dangerous way. Yeah, and not think, just like being, you know, like an asshole to people. It's yeah. actually caused like lasting damage yeah. to real uh, life the, human The beings. reason we're being very funny talking about it is because of the situation we don't want to... 
I don't want First to attack Susan's yeah, yeah. Like, wrath, basically. You can so you can do some real research on the stuff. If you're watching us and, and listening to us now, I'm sure you're going to have to like read between the lines of yeah. what we're saying to really truly understand the gravitas of the situation. Yeah. But I'm sure most of you say probably know. Yeah, like because, we're late to the party on this. Yeah. So I do think that's a bit strange. And the friendship with him and Jeffrey, I think that really changed him. I, I, what I feel like happened is... Jeffrey has a particular manner manner of the way that he presents himself and the way that he acts. And I think that's quite easily rubbed off on you. If you surround yourself yeah. with someone like that, you then become that kind of person. I had, an, I had a friend who I used to live with and he became very much like me to a state he would mimic everything I would say and do. Oh God. And he would become- Gout, I'm on the game. On the, well, <laughs> this was pre gout on the game. <laughs> oh but God. he would become that. And then it got to a stage where- we had very different audience sizes on the internet and mm. he then became as if like he had the same size of me and became very entitled and thought that he was able to get into events because of my size. To, it was like, basically in, to try and like exercise muscles that they didn't have. Yeah. And, uh, and, and absolutely no way am I the kind of person that would be like, you're not coming with me. You're not having like, I'm, I do, literally don't give a shit. Emphasis why I would bring him to loads of things. We would go to things. But the problem is, I think when you start to behave like the other person, if you are the same as that person or you have the same as that person, that's when the problem happens. Mm, and mm -hmm. I feel like with Shane and Jeffrey, I think Shane picked up on a lot of Jeffrey's harsh kind of like bitchy mannerisms, which Shane, Jeffrey's kind of known for. He's known as like the, almost like the cunt of the internet. Yeah, like you don't, so you don't fuck with he him. He gets away with a lot of the stuff because almost like that's what he's been known as, which doesn't make it okay. But when you have that normal persona, yeah. I do think it rubbed off on Shane and Shane became yes. more, I feel like he became more comfortable with showing a slightly more like a bitchy sort of aggressive side that he would never normally like that live stream that he did when Tati made the video <gasps> and started like although Nails I thought I thought bells. a lot of that I thought that breaking my silence thing was a lot of fucking stupid shit it was it was passing the blame you are a fully grown adult but his response to it at the time was like this is bad sis like yeah. this ain't this is not making you look good no. but I feel like a lot he would never normally have done that I don't think if he didn't have the brazen kind of I can do this now because I like yeah because I've got some power finally yeah, I yeah. think I feel like that he kind of because even Ryland to an extent has this kind of demeanor that he is better than what he is or oh. like he can get away with everything but and like do you know what's really funny is that originally he used to say in his videos I'm not actually like this I just do this because it's what people want to see yeah but I feel like there has been a switch in which Ryland actually behaves like yeah. that now well, and like, thinks that that's the way even that he even is. Ryland recently had a bit of a scandal because he had um slagged off his like subscribers and was like bitching that they were making comments about how they wanted his podcast to be longer. It was the most trivial thing. And he was like putting on like a fake voice of going like, no, make the podcast longer. I'm so glad it's finally longer. And it's like, why are you talking about that yeah, to like, your own subscribers who, who want, want more who, of who was, you? Who was yeah. excited that you've made a longer video. I, I, I've i always had a funny thing about Riley and I always felt he was the kind of person who would be That's very- That's a social climber. Yeah. I feel like he was, he's, he comes across as very- um, two-faced and very just 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 like i'm better than you mm. i just i i don't know I, i've never liked him the way that i would i would explain it is that like there are people that are going to be like that in the world they're yeah. perfectly entitled to live their own life do whatever they want i feel like i couldn't have someone like that in my close friend circle no because it would not invite positivity yeah. and growth into yeah. my life yeah so if i if we went to event, an event and someone like that was trying to be friends with me i would be a bit like no i'm not available to go for coffee that day no i'm also not Bye available girls. then Bye, see you later. Time to bleed. But, time to bleed. <laughs> because it's, it's, I just don't, being the age that I am now, and I, I, like these people are older than us. Yeah. They're older than us and they're still behaving very much like, we're in high this, school. This is the crazy I'm thing. The popular now, table. I find it to be a, the whole American LA exposed drama community, even within the community itself, like the drama community, they're all messy as well. Like yeah. the, it's messy because that's yeah. the territory. I do I feel like, yeah, fair enough. We are doing like a drama video now, but I, f I, I, I do drama videos. Exactly. Most of my content now is commentary drama content. And I don't feel like I'm messy when I do it. This is the problem. Like so many of them want to jump on the newest story. Like the fucking people like Rich Lux and it's all this stuff. It's tabloid nonsense. It's so it? ridiculous. Like I used to watch Rich Lux, Rich Lux back in the day and mm. I used to, uh, there's other ones I used to watch as well. And like- He watches they, roller coaster videos. Yeah. I see him occasionally I now watch, watch, Yeah, I do now watching <laughs> roller coaster videos. Um, but like, it's most like all, the, like first of all, half of them are like crazily biased towards a specific person. Oh yeah. So they will look past everything. And then obviously there's the conversations as well that Rich Lux was on the pay. Yeah. On it, Jeffree it, Star's pay, it, pay grade or whatever they call it. Insane. But like, I just find the whole drama community insanity because they the amount of times that they will 
promote fake stories to be the first one on the story is and just, it's just a, an entirely it's snatched Instagram ins- story. It's just like the fact that um, Saunders Kennedy had to make an apology video specifically to Shane Dawson online because he had lied about him being investigated by the police. Why would you and, lie about that? And he, had, he thought he was going to get away with it, but he had to come online and make it was like, it literally, it was like a 30 second video saying, I am making this video to say that I um, was incorrect and Shane Dawson is not. And like, regardless of how you feel about Shane Dawson, like it was it's insane that drama, all this like drama stuff is just ludicrous. And even the UK, a lot of the UK people as well. There's like an, a girl called Angelica yes, or something. I forgot her last name. She's in a, embroiled in quite a lot of drama she herself. Is, she's awful. Herself. Like it, it, a lot of these star, a lot of these drama channels start off as just wanting to talk. Like we're just chatting about it. We're not, we don't, we're not like in majorly I'm not invested. invested. We're not drama channels. We're not trying to get like, you know, this is I don't want a brand thing. deal to be like, Oh, Manscaped, but also look what she's up to now. Exactly. Girls. But like people, like a lot of these people will start off like this and trying to talk about it. And then they get to a stage where they get some kind of like popularity. And all of a sudden they think they're the authority on what's right and wrong. And yeah. what their opinion is like the right one. And all of a sudden they start spewing out all this stuff. That's just like actually quite horrible and hateful. And, and quite can be quite misinformative. Yeah, incredibly misinformed and will lie about things like Angelica lied about James Charles several times, but then didn't make any kind of redactions or anything. She, she's also like made videos where she like bitched about influencers, like not declaring spawns, but then didn't they declare spawns herself. Themselves. Yeah. And like, it's just messy. She's done many things that have been really messy. Um, and there's other, there's loads of other drama channels as well that do it. I but- do feel like that is a little bit of the curse of the, of the internet though. Yeah. When you get an audience and people are listening to you, it is a confirmation bias in a way of yeah. being like, well, yeah. I'm saying, all this stuff so it must be right because lots of people are listening yes and i feel like well we've talked about this personally as well is that like if i had gotten the level of popularity that my videos have now 10 years ago oh, i'm so glad i'm i got 11 the, years yeah. ago i might have been a bit of a cunt myself yeah. because i feel like it's very easy to fall into that dynamic mm-hmm. because it is like giving someone with no training no media savviness a lot of power over a lot yeah. of people all of a sudden yeah. with no training of how to actually cope with that yeah insane but i just i just find it like it's all very despite the few english people and uk people who do it like it's all very like la centric and i do feel like there is a curse like an la curse <laughs> where like people go to la I used to when think, uh, someone uh, dies i used to always think that i would want to go to move to la and all oh, that i can't think of anything worse like i would <laughs> the idea now of like moving to la and living there I, i'd want to drink bleach like <laughs> But I do feel like there is this curse, like these YouTubers and things, and like will get like go to LA and just become ho- either horrible people or get completely eaten up and chewed out by the like by the uh, the group of people if you don't become the cunty one. Yeah, I do feel like exactly what we were saying about earlier. It comes back to that sense of you are who you hang around with. Yeah, and if everyone that you hang around with is fake and nasty to every other mm-hmm. person. What's going to stop you from doing the exact same? Exactly. Nothing. Yeah, and you have to be a really strong-willed person to actually say to someone you like. I don't agree with what you said there or yep. that action there. Mm-hmm. And even if you just said that to the wrong person, they'd be like, you are no longer invited to anything that I will yep. ever bring you with. Because yep. everybody else around them is a yes man. This whole, the whole idea of like trying to claw your way to fame like that is so depressing. Well, that's like, what it is. It's, it's clawing. Yeah. It's desperation, isn't it? It's not just, I've created this thing and people love it. It's, mm-hmm. I need it or yeah. I'm going to yeah. die. And it, it, well, it, even recently, um, I, I used to, I don't, I don't watch her, but I used to, I, I sort of vaguely at the very beginning watched a woman called Creepshow Art who was. Oh um, my goodness. Another layer of drama. Another layer of good Honestly, insane. Yes. And like, so she was a drama channel who would talk about all this like stuff about people. And like a normal thing. I never liked her. I always found her incredibly condescending. Ooh. I thought it was, I, so I always kind of stood away with, stood away from her and didn't really pay attention. But then recently it's come out that she was slagging off loads of people, loads of her friends on like lol cow pages and like pretend having um, like a fake name and like um, have you ever been on the lol cafe i've never been on that i can't be bothered depressing yeah don't invite that negativity in, no, your, in your life I, I don't but like she was on there slagging off like her friends people that she knew trying to like get above it to be like the top person and i don't i just don't understand why anyone would do like first of all you're gonna get found out eventually yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, yeah. do that and not get found out but it's it's the whole idea of if why like why can you not accept that there are going to be other people in your community why do it's you have weird, to be the one? The only like, one. If you were the only one doing what you were doing, 
there is no community and there is no way that you can be successful because you need a lot of people invested, causing more people to get invested. If you're the only one person, people get incredibly bored eventually. Yeah. And they, they need more, you need more people to fuel your community. You can't be the only one. It's so, it's so strange. Um, the, the concept of whatever you, whatever content you want to create from the internet or for the internet rather is a balancing act. You have to find something niche that you're good at mm -hmm. that also other people are interested yeah. in. There's no point being the absolute best Ferrari car knitting channel if nobody is interested in Ferrari car knitting yeah. or something. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it's so weird. This is the thing. The why would you then use your little niche that you created and got an audience and then just like everyone that you're actually friends with be like, I'm gonna sell all your secrets. It's insane that the uh, the idea of like one of your like friends going on like a place like lol. It's not just like a little forum, like an oh, actual lol cow is a, a horrific website, and then like slagging you off and like trying to belittle you, and then using giving away personal information and exactly. details as well, and then like def like def like defending yourself as if you're not yourself, like pretend to be a fan to other people slagging you off. And you're like, no, it's not. no, like, it's no. just, it's she's just, not the same. It's just mental. And I couldn't, I, it's, the idea of like being that two faced, I couldn't, I just couldn't. Can you imagine having the amount of energy to do that in a day? Oh my the God. The amount more content that I could create. If, if I had that level of energy and I could focus it in on one thing, I'd be like, wow, nobody can touch me because I actually am creating yeah. the insane content. It's so weird that these people would just, it's, it's almost like in their life, they have a giant self-destruct button and it's yeah. so, it's lit up in fairy lights and yeah. it's covered in chocolate. And they yep. just want to like smash their face into it nine times yep. a day. It's like, just don't do it. Just, just don't do it. If you really feel yourself struggling, connect with a friend that's not going to, that you don't feel like you want to like sell them down the river yeah. or something. I don't, there's, it, how can you help someone like that? Yeah. So next person we need to discuss. Oh my God. Um, <sighs> James Charles. Janice Charles. Janice Charles. Wow. Wow. <laughs> who, would, who would have guessed? Or like, when Shane Tatton and all this stuff came out saying that he was a predator, all this kind of shit, and it all kind of like did like the I 180 switch when James Charles came out with his like, um, his like, like I'm his actually like, sorry, but here's all the proof. Here's all the proof that I haven't done anything Gagged. and all of it was a manipulation by them. The fact that it's now come full circle again and actually... Oh, it's like 720 now, isn't it? it like All of it now, seven, it now is like, actually a lot of the stuff that they were saying probably was true because of the things that have come out about James Charles and him like... This the ultimate like, reality is though, if any of this was true, why are they making videos about it? it why is there not a police this, investigation? This is, the thing, this is the difference between American and the UK. Yeah. We do get some things when it comes to people making videos about each other outside of... The, I'm not talking about drama communities, but like... YouTube is exposing each other is very rare in the UK compared to America. Mm. I feel like this whole thing of I'm going to go online and expose you is incredibly American. And yeah, it's, it's, I would agree with and that. And so although to us, it seems like why not going to the police? Because in America, this is normal. Yeah, like, this yeah. is a normal thing that happens. Um, they, they automatically think this will be content and not yeah, this is a crime. This, this is a problem. Because like I know like uh, KSI and his brother did videos on each other. But again, it's still That's like, a bit different, it's though, still very it? trivial stuff. But like when it comes to like, e uh, there's no limit in America. I feel like there's no limit to kind of like, like this is gonna be an exposed video. Yeah. We're gonna talk about someone essaying like minors. Like that's not a fucking exposed yeah, video. Yeah, that's not that drama. Is a it's crime. crime. <laughs> it's crime. Like, it's crime with long lasting traumatic outcomes. Yeah, like, it's, it's a bit obscene. Really, it's insane. So all the stuff when he was like, it came out that he has been like sexting underage people, and like it's not even just like allegedly stuff. Like there's it, actual yeah. evidence of it and happening, and he admitted the, it. I know. I know. I can't believe as an influencer who has the power that he has to then say, I didn't understand. The, the, I like, did, like, I was desperate. I was desperate. Like, but you cannot blame desperation to want a boyfriend. But also- You can't blame desperation to then message underage people and try to bribe them and try to make them give you nudes. Like, oh, what disgusting. the fuck? Absolutely. It's so seedy and it's vile and awful. gross, isn't it? I'd feel like, the, uh, I, this is on a totally different note, but- in all of these like apology videos or like I'm coming clean videos, why did it? Why do they always say it's half past one and I'm just by myself in the studio? Like, I don't care. It's, it's manipulation. It's, it's, it's anything like, to be like it's, I'm it's, by myself. It's oh. Anything to twist the situation to make them. I'm actually the victim. We, I'm the I victim mean, of we, desperation. We all do it. Whenever we tell a story that we've had with someone who's been conflict, we always want to make out like we have been the hero of the story. Yes, it's a I natural. Would agree with it's that. a natural thing that we do. However, the difference between these when they make these videos is this isn't something that you can just try to make yourself out the hero or the victim. Like you, the way that he's was like, I'm desperate and this is why I did. This is fucking irrelevant. Yeah, absolutely like, it's irrelevant. Absolutely irrelevant. Yeah. 
Why this did you say I'm desperate? I'm desperate makes us feel like, oh, little yeah. bunny. This upset. isn't like, no. say, say me and you had an argument and I mm. said something mean to you. That was a bit bitchy, but I, I said it in the heat of the moment, which is a normal thing. I would like, it, I, in those situations, I think it's very different to be like, look, I was really fucking stressed out, had some bad news, and I just took it out on you because I was yeah. angry. Imagine but, being like, I was actually really desperate and that's why I attacked yeah, I was, you. But like, it's just the, I can't. <sighs> So I get like consent laws are very different around the world. Mm. I, I do understand that because in some because in the UK I think it's sixteen, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, it is. But the idea of someone who is in his mid- early at the time I think he was early twenties yeah, when this I think happened, twenty one, to be someone of his stature and his power over people, to even even someone Entity. who's of age, to oh. even if you even if the other guy was like of age in your country, you are someone with immense power. You should not be interacting with fans like that mm-hmm. in any way, shape, mm-hmm. or form. Mm-hmm. As soon as you find out that they are a fan of you, you should not be interacting with them in a sexual way or anything because the power imbalance is there instantly. Yeah, it you is. You can chat to fans. You yeah. can have conversations. Be like, this is fun. Love you, girl. Like, I support audience. I love them. We we send like, yeah. I'll get some like Little fan hearts, arts and hearts. Yeah. yeah, but like, th- it's just fun. It's not. There's literally there's, there is a, a, a very strict line, and it will never be crossed mm. ever, 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 ever. And if if any minute thing goes above that line, instantly I'm cutting it off. There's no. There's literally no yeah. no no gray area. It's just no. a strict line. So as someone of your power, especially because like million like he like how big well, how big like what 20 million subscribers yeah. i don't know how many he's yeah, got yeah. like that's more than just like someone with my size that's almost like people will not just idolize you but it's so in awe of someone having it's such like a royalty sh- yeah and the fact that you would then constantly go after these people and try to get them to do things for you is just Disgusting. Oh, it's dirty, you shouldn't isn't it? like this is what the time when you need to be off the platform. You do yeah. not deserve to be here when yeah. you, that is the stuff you, you do. have lost your privilege. Yeah. You have lost your privilege and entitlement to this quite beautiful experience that you can have, yes. and you've lost it now. Exactly. You, you cannot you should, have that back. It, it's horrific. And it, it, I don't understand how people will forgive that. And I just I don't and people th- will. That's it's the thing. Just, people will. It's because the thing is, even if we lost half his audience, it's still 10 million people. Like, like it's you, 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 I, this isn't a thing of I was young and dumb as well. You are like, you know, by the time you're in your 20s, yeah. not like you know what's right and wrong, like yeah. you know what's right and wrong. Yeah. And this isn't growing up in an age where people were ignorant back in like, yeah. like when people who were 20 years old said sort of problematic things back in the early 2000s, you can, you can more explain that by the society of what people and yeah, the, the climate that it was in when yeah. social media wasn't a thing. 2019 is 20 is not like a different age where yeah. you think messaging underage people is okay. Like, but the, not so moving on from that, even the fact that um, he even had the original drama between like Tati being like, bye James or yeah. bye sisters, whatever it was. You'd think that from anyone ever insinuating, it would shock you so far back that you'd be like, I'm never talking to anyone who's not under well, 25 okay, again. Okay, so that's the real gag. The fact that after all that happened again- yeah, he, when- he was almost given a fucking golden ticket to yeah. say, "You this use this opportunity to never do that again. And you have just escaped yeah. Yeah. You know this horrible situation that you probably were in fact doing at the time. Yeah. And he was like, no. I'm just going to carry on messaging carry underage on. people for years later. Like- it's not, and it's not the fact that like one or two people have come. It, yeah, it's this like is the problem. Now. This is the thing. It's like it's so many people. It's like I'm sorry, but even if a few of them may be exaggerating or lying, even because I know people want to blame victims. Even if you want to think that, you can't tell me that every single one of them is lying. Yeah, no, you can't. You can't. You just can't. Like it's just there's too many people at this point because people don't just make this shit up on like a massive scale like this. Like, yeah. l- like okay, one or, one or two, two people might, might have exaggerated, yeah. but like. You cannot say that all these people are suddenly going, well, I, this happened to me. This happened. And they show, they're not conspiring against this and person. And every single one of them are like faking all these screenshots. And if that was the case, why would you come out saying in that video that you had done it? Yeah. The, the very, by, the, like, weird, if this was admission in court, if, if you'd said I was desperate in court, we don't say that like, oh, he's not guilty. We'd be like, that's an admission. Yeah, you should be, I don't get how it's, there's no legal stuff happening. Maybe there is, we just don't know. I think but, realistically, some of these things take a long time to yeah, process. So I, just, I have no idea what's going I on. I find it insane. But James Charles is one of those people that it's very strange to see. He managed to flip it around, but actually again, it's flipped around again, and it does make it does make you wonder because people were cancelling Tati Jane and she- J- Jane and Jeffrey because they said that they lied Jane. and exaggerated. I know it's kind of <laughs> Jane. I was like, who's Jane? Their, their yeah. shit name. Yeah, yeah. And it yeah. makes you think actually was a lot of the stuff they were actually saying originally 
valid. The, the huge problem with it, oh God, beat the woman. I dented the table, <laughs> punched the table. And in anger. Mm. Uh, the, the huge problem that we have with this is if they had have approached it in a way that was much more sensible and less drama for the views, Ma yeah, just the, the amount of people could have potentially saved, their lives could have been saved in terms of the trauma that they yeah. would now not yeah. have experienced because yeah. an actual predator would have been taken out of the market yeah. to allow them to... This is a huge problem as well with, with YouTube is or a lot of these social media platforms as well, is that although we're able to talk about it now because we're having to really like play the algorithm and not say certain things, yeah. that actually isolates a lot of people that want to come forward. What if someone actually came forward and said, I was assaulted by yeah. this person and this is all of the details of what's happened. That video would get demonetized and hidden because they can't put ads against it. Even though that was actually the situation that have happened, but allow the perpetrator to still carry on because they're not yeah. doing that content. Yeah, it's mad. Like, it's not even so much making money off the video, but like when, when a video gets demonetized, it instantly kind of then becomes hidden in algorithms. Yeah, because... they say, oh, limited ads, but it doesn't affect the reach. It affects the yeah. reach. So it even if does. even if you choose to like not monetize a video, it will still get hidden in the algorithms. Yeah, YouTube even steps in. If, if something gets to, like um, the Bio Sisters, uh, video oh my god, they told so her to take it down. Yeah, they told her to take it down because it was such bad bad press for the platform. Yeah. They actually told Tati to take it down. And now yeah. it, I don't think it actually is on her channel anymore. No, no. But and, everyone and, has seen it already. And the Breaking My Silence is also off also gone. the channel. Yeah, because I checked L yesterday when she uploaded ludicrous. the Hello ludicrous. Back video. That's another annoying thing because the platforms clearly do have power. They just <laughs> yeah, choose, yeah. They choose, they just, they never, choose. To, they choose. never to exercise it yeah. and never to police their platforms in ways that make sense to the user well, and the, not to the It's bank all about money. Yeah. It's all about yeah. the, the sad reality is all of we this live is in about capitalism. money. You yeah. can't ever you can't ever say that money does not have a factor in any yeah. of this because it's the only factor in any of this. Yeah. And Why it, else would they ask by system to be taken down? Technically it would have a massive draw to a platform to a video. Yeah. But because it's bad press and might associate what's people with advertisement. What's gone. hilarious as well about the whole by system situation is she made like multi million dollars from selling her hair she care made, for stuff from after yeah. that video because she was bitching. Actually, like it's mental when you consider when when all that happened and she it's a she, marketing she said ploy. she's made up all this stuff about James and said all this kind of stuff about him. This is the reason why they're falling out. It was because he ate something else's hair. Like he he ate like. I can't oh, believe weird, I can't believe as somebody at, else's hair. I can't believe as a it's fully grown vitamins. woman at the age she was was coming out and got pissed off because he ate someone else's gummy. I know. Like it's <sighs> insane. I can't believe the schoolyard shit that happens that becomes so dramatic. If she had a real problem with this predatory shit, why did she take so long to come out about it? Why Ooh, she kept it it's quiet? It's all about vitamins, and it's, it's not. It's, it, oh, it's she so can, She can. She She'll say all the time it's about all this other stuff. No, you you just got pissed off that he did that one little spawn with someone else, and you were like, right now I'm gonna fucking say all this other stuff. If you gave a shit about this predatory thing, you would have said it before. Exactly. 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 The problem is, is that. Most of these like super big American influencers have no loyalties to anyone. Oh They've no. Got no, it's all social climbing. It's I, all crawling yeah. to the top. It's all I want. Which I'm is so ironic hero. that like the original drama Geddon was due to social climbing because yeah. the irony is every single one of them's at it. Sis. That's yeah. what they do. That's, <laughs> that's the whole point of their job. They're influencers. That's what they do. Yeah. They climb and they sell. They yeah. climb and they sell. They climb and they sell. And like I know we always we I mean, we have conversations ourselves about drama stuff. We don't really make sort of drama drama videos as normal. So like this is this is the first one we've made since we made the original one the idea of that being your bread and butter is exhausting oh just how? just like you're filling your life with like negative crazy speculation and conspiracy and like false news and like just all this stuff i don't go i don't know how it doesn't eat you alive like how well, do it you, must do i don't get it it really must like the idea that um They're any of these people angry go to bed everyone. at night like what? Are the, what do they think of before they go to sleep? Yeah. How oh, do they so get any sleep? It's something going to happen when I go to sleep. Therefore, I can't go to bed. I need to be the first one to report on this news. Uh, do you know that is actually probably one of the most exhausting parts about mm. the whole drama thing? Is that like as soon as something happens, you have to be the first to cover it and also make it in a, into a particularly entertaining story, even if it's nothing, or you don't make any money and you can't eat. And but it's then like, half the time they report on like false news, oh, it's which ridiculous. is ridiculous, which breeds into the same problem. Yeah. It's insane. I don't get it. I really just don't understand. It really harkens back. It kind of shows you that, like, remember when we were younger? It was all about like um, the the gossip magazines. Yeah. It's still it's the same thing, different concept. Yeah. You know, it like is, different yeah. context. Rather. But the difference, I think, the difference is now is the fact that people can retaliate. Yeah, well, like when instantly. You, when you would read tabloid news or tabloid things, or you'd go, you'd go on like you see chat magazine and all this kind of shit that were like 
completely like bombard celebrities with like hatred you could never retaliate the, the, the celebrity could never really come back because yeah. they didn't have social media yeah. but now that we have YouTube and how quick things go and how social media this exposing thing especially with TikTok oh the exposing shit that happens fast. on TikTok over the most ridiculous stuff oh she cheated on her boyfriend Teenagers in school cheat each other. That it's just a thing that happens. It's not teenagers good. in school like, shouldn't have to. shitty shitty teenagers in school like having <laughs> cheating and bitching about their friends yeah. is not scandals across the internet. But now like one little one little fucking teenager caught who fourteen or fifteen will bitch about their friends and all of a sudden it's like this person needs to die. Yeah, and this, that millions of followers are now attacking this fourteen year old who just like I don't care what fourteen year old fucking does in school. Like, yeah, they yeah, bitch about yeah. friends, and that should stay between them. This is not worldwide fucking like scandals. Like, get her, like yeah. shut up. Like, get what are you all doing? Like, piling on like teenagers doing teenage shit. Like, it's insan. It's insanity. It's it is insanity. I think. Do you know? I feel like it's gonna get slightly worse before it gets better as well. Yeah. So one of the biggest dramas well, recently, if you yeah. can even call it drama, more Again, like yeah. actually disgusting activity so david dobrik's yeah. plan it's in i okay so when i when i first started hearing about the david dobrik stuff obviously it was from trisha paytas yeah because they had done the lay exposed yeah. and most the, the, the scary thing about the, that situation was everyone really hated uh trisha for that yeah and most people were like you're lying you're exaggerating and as time went on and more and more stories started to come out about david dobrik and all of his friends like manipulating girls and making do like young people getting young Absolutely girls drunk and then disgusting. making them like try to have threesomes. Why are they all just awful? Why, why are so many of these massive like YouTubers pedophiles? Why are they awful? Why are they awful? It, it, I don't understand. And then like his whole like group became this weird, uh, I'm going to do the most insane thing for a video, even if it's like dangerous. Well, or... it's very, it's very jackass, but without yeah. any regulations or health, yeah. se or health teams or anything. Yeah. I just also want to interject here and say, David Dobrik is 24. Is he? I am fully shocked. I thought he was like 48. Like, I cannot believe that when <laughs> I started YouTube, David Dobrik was 10 years old. Oh, God. What? Disgusting. We're old, girl. Oh, disgusting. Well, I, I actually thought David was our age. I didn't realize that he was younger. 24. 24. Doesn't look 24. God. He's been but, a rough but, 24. But the way that he has m manipulated his friends to do things for videos and then like really... He is not friends with He is not friends. No, he it's crazy because he has that sort of nice guy persona where like he's the friendly, like playful one who's like, we're all friends. But actually he's an evil mastermind of all of his... He's a manipulator. A manipulator to get whatever, just for the money and to get mm -hmm. like his friends to do like crazy things. And the fact that he almost killed his friend, <gasps> like... They basically, they they were trying to do this thing like after all the lockdowns had like kind of started easing, they were like, let's get back into content. And he mm -hmm. took his vlog squad to a place in which they were going to do like lots of like dangerous things. They ended up hiring an excavator, which yeah. is a kind of like digger, JCB, digger, JCB thing. digger situation, you know, where you dig up your garden or whatever. I don't know what people do with those. Um, And they were going to tie a like inflatable dinghy to it with a rope and like spin it round in this lake so that everyone was like being... Like, you know, it's the same kind of thing, you know, when you get pulled along by a speedboat. Yeah. Kind of that, but yeah. just in a circle. Um, and then he decided that that wasn't dangerous enough and that wasn't actually fun enough. So, so they just took away the dinghy and had them dangling off a rope and spinning them yeah. on and an so excavator. He, he, he did it to one of his, girl, like the girlfriends, not his girlfriend, his, you know, his, yeah. his girlfriend. The lady friend who was um, nearby. And was going too fast and scared her. And she said, can you put me down? Stop it. You take yeah. things too far. And she, do you know, at first he didn't even. Oh, he he yeah. kept like going. And I was just a bit like, as, I, as I've said in any of my videos, the one thing I hate is anybody taking away consent of anything exactly. from anybody else. It's disgusting. So then his friend Jeff went to do it and he was going faster and faster and faster and then suddenly decided, I'm just going to go to a stop instantly. And so his friend Jeff slammed into the side of the JCB. The arm. The, ar the arm. into the arm of it. And almost died. Almost died. Like not even like, Oh, he almost like oh he he well, I almost died, girls. Like he genuinely almost died. And it's now shocking. Like, he, he didn't like lose his loss of like his vision is going blind. Yeah. Like, so the thing about it is, I I sort of so because of all this like really. I would, I'm going to use the word dramatic because it was quite dramatic yeah. to happen. Um, none of that footage was posted online yeah. and it took months for it to come out. Yeah. And then they, they did this weird like um, re release of the footage and then they they did this voiceover as if it was like trying to play down the the, mm -hmm. the actual like the drama of what happened. You must have known that yeah, David yeah, yeah, yeah. probably yeah. came in and was like, no, we I'm going to produce this. Yeah, it's going to yeah. come out like to make yeah. me look fine. 
Um, oh, that was so contrived. I find it so weird. I find for. it so strange that David was in that documentary, like explaining what happened. Like yeah. you, ha- you literally almost you killed your it. friend. You, like, you, almost, you knew you what you were doing. <laughs> the, the person before you said you were doing it too much and you took things too far. So then you did the exact same thing, even worse to your other friends. But apparently it was meant to be la- like, sorry, lol. Lol. Yeah. No, no, no. You, you yeah. knew exactly what you were doing. Absolutely. You were you were manipulating that situation to make you look less. You were ignoring safety. A, and also ignoring the people that you were doing it to. They were going, can you stop? Can you stop? Yeah. No, yeah, just carry on. Oh, for the, doing yeah. the views. Absolutely disgraceful. So as we mentioned, he slammed into the side of the, the like digger or JCB, whatever you want to call it. And um, his whole face was like, his skull shattered in like four places, oh, four or five awful, places. Awful. He shattered all of his orbital bone. And we still don't know now, but there's a potential that he could lose his eye. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. because your friend thought it would be funny for a video to hire a JCB, oh, put it in awful. LA, can swing you round. And the sad thing is, is it's it's almost like not, so Stockholm syndrome sounds a bit mad, but like Jeff is still incredibly loyal to David yeah. after all that. If and someone like, had done that to me, I can't even. I out just, of my life. I just don't get it. I don't understand. That's not like I, I don't know. I, it's just insane. But like the other stuff that he did to his his other friends, like uh, saying that, yeah, we're gonna make. Um, Jason oh, yeah. Nash wear the, wear the disgusting like uh, old man mask but he thought it was a girl and then he his consent was then taken away and this one of his friends had to make out with Jason thinking that it was a girl and then found out that it was Jason and it was just like really weird things like that and like him that whole situation they're really red like it, it looked like I remember seeing I don't know if I saw the actual footage but I definitely saw screenshots and thinking how violated that yeah, person yeah, must feel yeah like if I was really if, I, gross. if I was told that I was going to make out with someone else but then turned out to be a completely different person who I didn't give consent to like I would feel like what the fuck have you done like I just, yeah why like, have you done this we're very very strange but like the whole oh wow but he's like he's made a video like comeback and everyone's like forgotten what's happened we're like oh yeah he's back i must admit the thing about um the internet is it does seem to be that people have this like 24 hour cycle of like oh because yeah. loads of new videos loads of new content time has passed so things are different yeah there's a weird so every piece of content in the internet appears to exist or especially on youtube in it appears con- to exist now, but yeah. also a very long time ago. Yeah. Because you still get comments on things from 12 years ago going like, I hope you get better from you. Yeah, I, I, had, I, had a, a I, had a, I had a comment on a video from like almost 10 years ago saying to me, I hope I feel better soon. Because I said in the video that I had a cold. And I was like, this is clearly 10 years ago. Yeah, like, like this is clearly 10 years there. ago. But like, I think pe- people don't think that like, 10 years ago is 10 years ago. They, honestly, everything is like literally done this now, instant. Yeah. Especially if the algorithm for some reason just pushes that video out to someone. Yeah. And they're like, this is new. It's not new. Yeah. These 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 YouTube yeah. friendship big groups never work. They're, yeah. just, they're just not a thing. Which is why actually now after all these years, we don't tend, we don't, I don't really get involved with YouTube groups anymore. No, I it's kind not of, worth it really. I have a few, obviously YouTube friends. Most of my friends are YouTubers and stuff, but like, there's obviously like Sarah and Callum and stuff, but like, I don't have, I don't have like a huge group. When I first moved to London, there was like 20 of us. Mm. There was like, and most of them are filtered out either because we don't get on anymore or like, you know, different spaces in life. But like the idea of like trying to get involved in this huge YouTube like bubble now actually makes me anxious and yeah. scared because yeah. I just, I don't trust people anymore because yeah. of how social climbing people can be. You go to events and you meet some of the people like I've, when I when I first well, let's be honest when when I first met Jerry Graceffa he was not very nice at all he oh, did, really he acted like we were scum like oh. we, were, we we did, we did the LGBT panel together um in Amsterdam it was like we were so beneath him that he would and I was like I don't I understand like, why why would why would I want to be friends with you? why would I want to talk to yeah. you or like being a like. It, and those kind of people are so prevalent in the YouTube oh, community. They are. When, it it seems to attract. I think it's because like you're kind of like the star of your own show. Yeah. And then as soon as you start getting viewers, as it was mentioned earlier, again confirmation bias of like, oh no, I am the star of my own show. Yeah. It is yeah. the me show. It's all about me. Yeah. And then that just gets worse and worse and worse yeah. the bigger that people get. But I also find as well when you get into a huge group of friendships, is everyone gets in with each other's business, and all of a sudden like you lose a lot of privacy with your own yeah. life when you're such a huge group of like like a youtube friendship group and also like eventually like people start to like try to become the best of the friendship like yeah they want to be like the ringleader and no matter how many how nice or good you are when you do you have a group of youtubers or if influencers you have a group of 10 people who yeah. all want to be the ringleader yeah and it just good. it's so it's just it's too much drama we've had drama with the people in our lives over time and you know as i said again before with like an old housemate of mine it, it just got so awful like people's egos become so inflated it's just I now keep myself to myself. Yeah. I have YouTube friends, but there's, I don't have many that are like in my immediate life who are, you know, involved with stuff because I just don't, 
I just don't, I just don't want to invite that into my life anymore. I think at the, at the, the, the sort of way that I'm trying to approach it now, I obviously, my audience is considerably more niche than yours in terms of like size. Yeah. Like I don't have the same audience at all compared to like nearly a lot of like YouTubers as such. Like I am not a big YouTuber by any stretch of the imagination. I feel like I want to experience other YouTubers. Maybe with a select few, you know, will become friends, but I feel like it's, it's a good practice to treat them as work colleagues. Yeah. Like you wouldn't bear your soul to Nancy in HR. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? But you would be like, let's go and have a couple of drinks and talk about work or something. Yeah. You know, go to a yeah. meeting and have fun yeah. and maybe collaborate on one or two things. But as soon as you start being like, these people are permanently in my life. Yeah. Like, can you imagine now being friends with a vlogger who's just vlogging all day every oh, day? Oh, just that, drive me I just insane. want to sit on the sofa yeah, and leave me, me alone. I couldn't do it. I could not do it. It's And it, it's again, when, when these big groups get together, it's like the desperation for screen time and they're all trying to be loud and crazy. To, like, it's just, I'm like, I'm exhausted just even talking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that kind of like Team Ten House of like Madness is very of an age, and oh, I don't think it lasts very long. No, for a specific no, reason. nothing like I that could can last. Never do it now. No, I'm more than happy to have four amazing close friends who I trust, then have a load of you know acquaintances who are surrounding me because we wanted to have fun YouTube life together. Like, exactly. So Luxaria, well, this one has been exciting, it interesting. Has. Um, She's been there's going to be so girls. much that you'll probably have missed out. Again, mm. if you want to go, if anything else happened you want to talk about, let us know down below. Oh yes, please. Um, it's been Give us all fun the tea. to be back. Yes, go. The um, drama. So thank you for watching. Yes. Um, and if you've been listening on SoundCloud or iTunes or anything, thank you for listening. We will be back next month for a brand new episode as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank, thank you for listening. And listening yes. um, and we'll see you soon. Yes, see you Goodbye, in the next guys. One. Gorgeous. Bye.